What if instead of inviting people to a meeting, you brought the meeting to the people? Rather, you brought the meeting to the people who should have gone to the meeting but didn't. In our previous video, we explored the Office 365 web application, Microsoft Stream. For those of you who don't remember, Microsoft Stream is your company's private video library. More importantly, it's where your meetings go once you finish recording them. Once they finish processing, you can do things like turn on automatic transcription, like what we discussed last time, but you can also share the meeting with other people. So if you have employees that aren't able to attend a certain meeting, that's okay because you can just send them the meeting recording afterwards. And then that way they can watch it when they have time. To share your recorded meeting, first find your video and then on the video's home screen, click on the ellipses, followed by update video details. In the center of the screen is where you will be able to share your video. As a viewer, your recipients have the ability to watch the video and that's it. However, you can grant them owner permissions, which gives them the same rights to the video that you have. That means they can do things like edit the video title, edit the video itself, delete the video, and even download the video. By the way, if you want to download the video, click on the ellipses again and simply click on the download button. If you're new to Microsoft Teams and feel like you could use a little bit of help, we do have a free course called Teams Essentials. It is on our website at protectedtrust.com, but we'll also leave a link for you below in the description.